first of all thank you so much for giving uh, this invitation to me to participate in this auspicious program of today in fact we landed in switzerland about one month back and we were looking forward to such opportunities but when this invitation came it was just a uh, kind of divine blessing or uh, our fortune you can say and we are too happy along with my family to join today you told me to say something about lord krishna but uh, i think this gathering is much more ahead of me in terms of spiritual uh, enhancement and uh, saying something in front of you while you are sitting in front of me that is also too difficult so but i just share a few words on the basis of my limited understanding and knowledge first of all this uh, lord krishna as you know was the divine incarnation and uh, i think he took <coughs> human form just to guide the mankind about how to lead our lives in the rightus rightus uh, right way and all his life stages have been source of inspiration for the past so many thousands of years and it is still relevant to us for our lives and it will continue to be relevant for all ages to come i think he played lord krishna played several roles roles like a loving child a, an affectionate brother can you speak a bit louder ha ah, yes thank you lord krishna played played several roles in his life like a loving child an affectionate brother a disciple a guru himself a warrior also a politician so there are several roles he played during his lifetime and all the roles i think we can draw inspiration from his roles and how he acted in different situations but uh, bhagavad gita is i think the nectar of all the wisdom which uh, human kind needs to lead a uh, good life so we should i think immerse ourselves and dive into that as much as possible to get the answers to our daily dilemmas confusions and perspective uh, perplexions i think lord krishna guided arjuna in the battlefield but in our daily lives also we also face lot of such situations where we need some kind of guidance to know what is good what is wrong what is right and there is no situation where we cannot find the answer through our learnings in uh, bhagavad gita so and uh, and very simply uh, situation in for all situation very simple approach has been prescribed in the bhagavad gita like lord krishna said ki uh, that we should stay detached from the worldly possessions while doing our duties in the virtuous way and righteous way so the same instruction we can follow in our daily lives the other thing is that we should always see, uh, keep in mind that the soul is immortal and inter- eternal so that way we have answer to all our queries and confusions in bhagavad gita and lord krishna prescribed i think three approaches <coughs> based the spiritual enhancement also first is the gyan yoga and the karma yoga and third the most easiest way which all the grahastha ashram people can follow that is the bhakti yoga which i think we are all doing today that is to chant the different names of lord krishna meditate on his human form or being a part of the spiritual discussions and discourses so i think janmashtami is the right opportunity to do so and swami ji has done a very great job that he has collected us together to do this and benefit from the 
today's program, wonderful program. So let us not waste time on this my speech and continue with the same program. So thank you, Swamiji. So